Hi, my name is Tim O'Donovan, I'm from SeedTech in Ireland. We're a seed processing company and we're also a partner in the Legumes Translator project. And in this video, we're going to describe to you the life cycle of growing fava beans in Ireland as we grow them for seed for our own company. We're going to visit the field and we're going to look at sowing, we're going to look at early season spring growth, we're going to look at flowering, and we're also going to look at harvesting and processing here in our own plant in Waterford. And we hope you enjoy this video. Today we're here sowing in Leash. We're sowing a crop of beans, faba beans, which will be used for certified seed for the 2021 harvest. The crop is being sown here on the 24th of February and it's going in at 210 kgs to the hectare. That will give us a seeding rate of 35 to 40 seeds per metre squared and an establishment rate of 30 to 35 seeds per metre squared. The preparation the farmer did for getting the field ready was he ploughed it and then he applied 25 units of P and 60 units of K and then he tilled in and sowed in his crop. The reason why he chose to front load the fertiliser is because the beans produce their own nitrogen through nitrogen fixation and then the P and K is used then for root mass, building root mass and building leaf and stem during the early growth stages of the crop. So this crop was drilled at 180 kgs per hectare or thereabouts and we were aiming to sow 40 seeds per square metre uh, to end up with a plant population of about 30 plants per square metre which we have. A uh, tree here inside in the ring, it's a tenth of a square metre. Uh, little plant itself is very nicely developed, you can see the seed. Uh, you can also see if you look closely, the nodules are starting to develop on the main stem. Uh, the crop has uh, some significant damage of weevil, you can see the notches and the grower is going to apply insecticide in the next number of days to stop that because weevils can cause a lot of damage, uh, especially on the nodules down here. I dug up some plants uh, looking for the seed and the development of the roots. There was some notching earlier on um, from the bean weevil. There's the seed bean there, uh, down is about three inches, three and a half inches, but some very nice nodulation on the crop. As you can see, healthy nodulation is distinguished by the pink, the pink color there. Um, crop is just actually going to come into flower buds. The flower buds are just starting to form and from now on this is going to get a fungicide, a good yield potential in the crop of fanfare spring beans here in Kilkenny. So we're here in a field of uh, spring sown faba beans in Ireland. Normally our yields are between six and seven and a half tons to the hectare but this year we had an exceptionally dry spring and faba beans likes to have water at the key formation time of yield. Um, the crop, I'm just going to dig up a plant here. Uh, root wise it's actually quite good and we have got 30 to 40 mil of rain in this field over the last 10 days but it was two weeks ago really at the start of June that it really needed its rain. Plenty of nodules there in the pods but, uh, or in the roots but it's the problem is here is that there was plenty of pod formation at the start the drought kicked in and the flowers were actually all aborting here. So those top pods are actually the ones that we're going to be lacking in yield this year. We have about 40 plants per square metre, which is what we're aiming for. We have plenty of pods down here, but the top layer isn't going to fill up this year. So look, something maybe five, five and a half tonne to the hectare is what this field is going to do. So we're here today on the 15th of September and we're visually inspecting the crop of faba beans, see is it ready to harvest. When we open up the pod, the grain, the bean is hard to chew, there's a bite to it, so that normally indicates that it's ripe, especially when the crop is no longer green. So on a moisture sample test here now, this crop is at 19.5% moisture, so it's perfect for harvesting. The crop will be harvested and brought down to Waterford where it will be processed and used for certified seed for the following season. Commercially, faba beans are used in Ireland solely as a protein source in animal feeds, and it's a great way of introducing an Irish produced protein into the diets of animals. When the beans are harvested, they're taken into a processing unit down here in Waterford. They're taken in over the way bridge where their sample is taken, and they're tested for purity to the variety, that they're clean, that there's no weeds, and we check the moisture to make sure it's below 20%. The reason why 20% is at and above this can be hard dry down and hold the germination rate. 
each load that comes down here is given its own identif identification passport which allows us to identify the variety and track the different varieties coming through that there's no mistake made. Once they've passed the inspection on the Weybridge, the crops then go for drying where the beans are dried down to 16% moisture and then they are stored and let's see. A germination test is sent to the department and we, once the results come back we then further process the beans where they are cleaned and run through our specialised plants and where they can be bagged for sale. When the bags are sealed, they're sealed with a Department of Agricultural label. This gives them a certified label which says that these beans are of high germination rate, they are pure to the variety, that there's no impurities in the seeds such as weeds, and that these beans are nematode free.